This for viewers is a favorite philosopher Charles Chekpechuku Keleike. And our topic for today is about happiness. Yes, our title today is about happiness. Our theme for today is about happiness. So what is happiness? Do you know, many times in this world, different types of philosophers, scientists, religion, leaders, and other types of people have tried to venture into the adventure to describe what happiness really means. Dictionaries can tell you happiness is an excitement, happiness is a fulfillment, happiness is, you know, the exhilaration you perceive when you bring out the best in you. Yes, happiness is true. Happiness is a societal type of norm everybody looks for because we live in the world with people. So it's a societal type of norm. And there are codes of conduct, they call it ethics or commandments, even it's a religion or natural morals people practice to do good and enjoy what is good yes happiness is a gift do you know happiness comes from your nature if you're an animal you'll be happy as an animal if you're a human being you'll be happy as a human being if you're an angel you'll be happy as an angel happiness is a gift it comes from god because god is this foundation of what's called happiness a fulfillment an acceleration and a gain of excitement happiness is constant happiness moves happiness doesn't change because it is joy that we perceive to either change when we gain something or when we lose something we now feel that ah, our joy has changed to something else but we pray and we hope and we work out that our joy changes to something more beautiful happiness is a gift how do you mean happiness is a gift happiness should be distinguished from what you lack because what you lack is a necessity that is missing. But happiness is a need. Do you understand the distinction? Happiness is a need. Different from what you lack. What you lack can cause misery or sorrow or pain. But happiness is a need. What you require. Once you recognize that what you require is happiness... You will now understand that this life is not about sorrow, misery, and pain, no matter what religious beliefs you hold. Because if you were thinking that life is about suffering and pain, then you make a choice to go and do something good, then you are missing the point. You can't live your life suffering all along. You have to wake up. Now, my people, my friends, happiness is a need because you need to be happy. For instance, you need to eat food. That's happiness. And you go there to eat food and you are happy that you've nourished yourself with good food like hamburger, maybe you visit McDonald's or Mr. Biggs or name it. You visit an eatery, a fast food restaurant and you have delicious snacks like meat pie, chicken pies and ice cream or pizzas. You'll be so surprised that having eaten chicken and pizzas and taking ice cream to enjoy this, you'll be happy. That's an example of a need. Different from what you lack, that you lack money to go and buy food to eat. So happiness is a grace. Happiness is what makes you happy. Happiness is what makes you excited about life. Happiness is a purpose. Happiness is a gain. Happiness is an aim. Yes, when you aim to be happy, you recognize that good things come for only those who pursue good things. So happiness requires a purpose. In this life, when you see this purpose, you recognize that you have to be authentic. If you want to be as rich as Elon Musk or richer than Elon Musk, it's a purpose, it's an aim, it's a gain. And you work towards it, whether you use software programming or you use um, selling of foods and products or services to get there. Happiness is not what you lack. Happiness is what you need. So we were created by God, actually, in all set, uh, circumstances and realities that there is a need we need to pursue to be happy. And only with God can we be happy. Finally, let me let you know, science has discovered that we're not just created by chance because anything that was created by chance has a cost to it. There's a cost for everything. That cost for everything is called happiness. So that type of entity that creates this happiness is God. Only God can bring happiness because only God is happy in himself. You see the sun. You see the stars. You see all the celestial bodies in space. That's happiness that brought them all there to beautify the cosmos. The same way you see a beautiful lady and you see a beautiful couple or you see a handsome young man or beautiful children that's happiness that makes you rejoice and the need to be happy with them 
when you see your beautiful parents, you see your beautiful children, your beautiful family, then God, you be excited that this is happiness. And this is the way God has given us the purpose to pursue in life. Do we need to tell you more? Watch for our next episode when we're ready. Happiness is a gift. Don't forget. It's the need to be fulfilled, excited, and exhilarated. As stand as your favorite philosopher, Charles Chekpechuku Okeleike, thank God for the happiness we have in this world. It's in God we trust.